<sighs> I want to take y'all on a journey with me, okay? A very brief journey of pain. There's no other word to describe it other than absolute pain. Now, there was a, an occasion where I actually wanted to post a video weeks ago. This became its own video. This shit right here was not supposed to be its own video. This was supposed to be an attachment of the video in- Shout out Byron Beck, bro. Shout out you, because you, my nigga, you came out the vault literally within 10 games. I want to put a benchmark right here. That game you just saw me get Byron Beck was the first day that he- Probably the second day that he came out. Um, I got him in 10 games. Literally in 10 games. I started at 179 games. By 191, I had Byron Beck. That was my starting point, just so we, we, we are on the same page as this video goes forward. Shout out my son right here, man. Porn stash and all 70s porn stash and his player model. This nigga, right, I think he got a gold chain on in his, in his picks. This this boy balling right here. He got bitches. I knew this nigga got bitches in. I'm gonna have to assume it's the 70s. It looks like the 70s. So, just to provide some more background information on the topic, Wayne Embry, the god himself that was in the vault before Byron Beck, I got him within seven games. Probably, maybe even less. It was literally, I was like, who the fuck is this nigga that they just put in the vault? Played just a handful of games and just got him. I'm like, okay, I guess. And I did not know he was like the chosen one. He was like a god card, Egyptian god card in the moment that he released. And then I realized how many people was just going through this absolute struggle to get him. Also note my level, by the way. I was probably like level 18. Look at this, 198 wins at that point. And I'm at level 20 now. So I was also progressing or uh, um, documenting this journey. I was gonna be like, oh, this is gonna be a dope ass, no money spent episode, you know? I'm on the journey to Kawhi. Probably just, I just came off, that's the thing, I just came off finishing Heat Check Domination and got my Galaxy Opal Anton Jameson. And in my head, I'm like, oh man, I'm just about to fill out the team with this new guy now. I needed a nice wing player. Just knock this out in a day or two and then, you know, upload the video. Boom, no money spent squad. That's gonna be a fire little video. Little did I know, my nigga. Little did I know what 2K had in store for my ass. Repeatedly, I just kept playing. I was just thinking like, come on, I'm opening the vault at least once every two games. Sometimes I go on a three, four games of opening the vault. I'm gonna let you know right now, there was a period in time where the vault did not open for 12 games straight. I don't know how, I, I backed out of the mode, I closed app. I just, it just, I felt like the, it was rigged against me. Like it just, I wanna know if I'm gonna have a moment of weakness right now. I'm, I hope y'all have a moment of weakness too. If this is something you can identify with, please sure to hit that thumbs up button right there for me. 220 games in by the way. At certain points in these dry streaks, I almost cried. Like I, I got emotional, I almost, like I whimpered. You know, like when the vault would do the the, the red, when it doesn't open, I, I just, just a little, and that's when I was uh, like, fuck it, I'ma just go open some of these packs that I got here, hopefully try to reap some rewards of all this effort. And wouldn't you know it, man, I get some cool little heat check players right there, Colin Sexton, and this was, I think, right after his uh, moments game that happened. Then I got a Bradley Beal right here, and that silver deep threes, as you saw, I was making MT. And you know, on average, when I would open the vault, it would always either be one token or a thousand MT, one token or a double take, one token or a thousand MT. So I stacked up quite a bit here. But none of this is what the fuck I wanted. I am literally sitting here just playing and earning shit that I don't want, relying on RNG to pop open a vault and then land on a, some kind of number that's handicapped to less than something percent for me to go ahead and get this motherfucker. And the worst part is, I know it's just the computer, right? But... I know it's not just me, bro. I know y'all can relate to me that the computer just be busting your ass randomly. Like, I, I don't know what it is. The computer just feels like it can just try shit on you. Oh my God. Like, just shit it wouldn't usually do against any other user. It just feels like, I'm gonna try this shit on Dre. I saw this uh, in the highlight the other night. I'm about to go crazy on this nigga. Not once, uh-uh. Twice I'm about to do it. Computer just be doing some shit to me, bro. The computer be on some shit. And when it's not that, it's this. He mad now, Sizzle. Oh, baby. He mad, Sizzle. Ah. 
and then eventually it just felt like I was I was going numb I was turning numb game after game of just computer bullshit opening the, the vault one token double take back 1000 MT one token double take back 1000 MT double take back 1000 MT double take back one token closed 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 double take it's like I I just got PTSD or something bro at this point even when the vault was opening I didn't think I was gonna get him like that's when I started to crack I was like he's not in there I don't think he, there's no way that he's actually in there where am I at right now? 266 wins. So at this point, I've already played more games for him than I've played for all the other Pink Diamond players that have been in the vault combined, right? So at this point, I'm committed. I'm like, you know what? I'm this many games in. I'm hearing that people are playing like 200 plus games to get him. So let me not bitch. Cause at this point, there was still a, ch uh, a challenge going on. You had to beat like 100 triple threat off offline games and get shit ton of XP. So I was like, all right, at least let me finish that first 100 before I start to bitch. Nigga. 382 games in. This is where I was cracking for real. As you see here at this point, I'm just scrolling. I I'm not trying to play a game. I'm not loading in nothing. I'm just looking at how far I have come. I am 200 games dry. I started at 179 and here we are. At that point is when I was reaching that breaking point. Like I, I can't do it, I can't do it. Because mind you, I only get little pockets of hours to play this game towards the weekend. I, I, I got shit to do throughout the week, bro. They can't expect some fucking casual player to rely on their vault RNG. I was at my wits end. I didn't care for the MT I made. I didn't care for the tokens. None of that shit. All I could think in my head is how these motherfuckers over at 2K on the My Team Dev Team would not in a million years take the time out of their lives to sit there and rely on their own vault RNG to be able to get a card. I was ready to write the, the, the most strongly worded letter to Ronald 2000. I was ready to turn into all types of fucking bitch ass nigga bro. I was so there. And then I saw that they extended him after the February 8th deadline and added Byron Beck and I'm like great time to get Duke Byron Becks. And by the grace of thy lord and savior of 2k, I was gifted and blessed, and my pain had finally come to a conclusion. Yeah. Fuck what y'all think, fuck everything that you say about me. My dogs like to play mad in the 2k, but one thing they don't do is play about me. My homeboy Tyler, he playing South Beach, he told me this summer he gonna fix my jumper. I told boy Wonder that we might got a thumper, I've been trying to pop, now I'm on like Shumper. Now they on my bumper, green room chock full of all my comforts Hotel room like heaven on earth, got angels in my bed with some all white covers Ace Pro Nemo, Lucy and Kiso, Sloop Clay Tufo And I got a few more I call my brothers, I got a lot of flows and they all like butter Ooh. And the reason that shit was lying so heavily on my conscience bro Is because he was literally the missing link to my team I needed my starting shooting guard that could shoot, play defense and be athletic as fuck to fit my lineup now my team is complete. It's not an Opal squad, but the Opal and a full Opal team is the only thing that could fuck with me. Like this team right here is as solid as it's going to get where all my MT is only tied up into one, two, three, four players, where as everyone else is basically someone that I've earned playing the game. Fuck, I just love this. I'm loving this year in my team, bro. I love that I can, I love this. And I love my team. I love my team right now. So now I'm actually ready to just play Unlimited at this point, I don't give a fuck about Kevin McHale, but to be completely honest with you, now I'm ready to just, as soon as the next season starts, I can just play online. I, I don't give a fuck. My team is good enough now where I feel good, and it's only going to get better from here. I just never want to go through that type of pain again. Um, my one thing that I want to end on this video, my conclusion, closing thoughts, is just, if I didn't get Terry, I had reached the breaking point where I was fine if I didn't get him. But there was niggas who's playing, I've heard thousands of games and still haven't gotten him. Shout out to y'all, couldn't be me, I couldn't do it. What they should do in all honesty though is when a player is coming out of the vault and they're adding a new one, they should add 
that player that was previously in the vault to the token market for 24 hours. Not the actual reward market, the actual the token market where shit is uh has an expiration date. Cause at least then the people who don't get him through vault RNG have a means of guessing him. Go ahead and use those tokens that they earn for something productive. Cause that would have made me feel way better about the process knowing that even if I don't get him off of the vault, I can probably get him by the time the season is over. So that's my one takeaway, cause uh, boy, that was fucking horrible. New video coming out with probably all the MT and tokens I made throughout the process tomorrow, cause that was the original idea.